So it's looking rainy today, but I was thinking I want to go and ride anyways. We're getting a little bit, a little bit of rain, but not much. Just coming up to the start of a Strava segment here over these tracks, train tracks. Gonna do a bit of a heart rate test, see how high I can get my heart rate. Gonna try to hold 300 watts for about 20 minutes. See how it goes. Holy shit. Oh my god. That was that was all out. Definitely went beyond the the talking threshold on that one. It started raining not too hard. But my wheel, my back wheel did kind of slip a few times on the sleep, steep parts. I'll have a look at the segment, do a little analy, analy, do a little analytics when I get back to my place. See how my watts were, see what my heart rate was. I think I got up to around 185, my heart rate. Man, that was full on. Full gas, full gas. Okay, so we're looking at the Strava segment from today. Um, full gas, mostly over 300 watts for 18 minutes. Ended up being 18 minutes. The last time I did this segment, it took me more like 20 minutes. Um, so here are the stats. We have heart rate average, 133. That includes like coming back. I was just going really easy, but the max was 186 beats per minute. Um, when I do the calculations for my estimated max heart rate for my age, it's more like 202 if you do like the 220, well no, actually that's not right, 220 minus your age, but there's a few different formulas anyways. I, I, thought, it, I thought I'd be able to get it up higher. I bet I can get it up higher, but I don't know. I was going pretty full gas today, so uh, let me know in the comments below if you know a good way to do a maximum heart rate test. Um, so here we go. Two segments here. The first segment is a shorter one, Pak Chong first climb. This is more like just uh, steep, the steep part of the climb. And you can see the segment here, I'm 30. My time was 10.26. Average watts, 315 watts, and max heart rate, 186. Um, go to the longer climb here. The, sm the smaller one, the smaller one, uh, Pak Chong first climb is part of Pak Chong climb from railroad. So this is the one that starts where I cross the railroad tracks. So my time here, 1832. A couple guys at 1831, so I'll try to pass them next time I do a full gas up this, up this climb. Uh, we look at the analysis. And we can see the power here. So this is the segment starting here at the railroad. And then you can see the power goes up, 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 up nice and high. And then at the end, I just give her all I've got, doing like 400 watts. And then just boom, rest. And that's where I recorded the video there. I didn't stop the Garmin. And yeah, just chilling on the way back. You can see the heart rate here. So even though my watts are staying pretty much the same, I'm pacing pretty well, just keeping it around or just above 300 watts for most of the time. But you can see my heart rate just going up and up and up and up. Starts at 140, around 140, and then just keeps creeping up and up and up and up and up and up and up, right? And then finally peaks at around 186. So that's why pacing with power is good because the power is going to keep your effort the same. Whereas if I were to go for heart rate, then I probably would have gone too hard if I was trying to like maintain an average heart heart rate. Then I would have gone too too hard with my watts at the beginning to try to to try to keep my heart rate up. If I was going going on watts, and then my watts would have gone down to keep the heart rate the same. So if you want to pace evenly, really you have to pace with power. And you can see speeds up and down and up and down. It depends on the gradient. So it's like you can't really pace by anything other than power effectively. So today, Friday, February 20th, my time was 1832. And the last time, 1834. Okay, so I thought it was a bit slower on the last time. But yeah, just a couple of seconds faster. I just paced more evenly this time. Um, 
And the last time, I don't think I was really... Yeah, I was, I was more just going for that second segment, so... But I ended up getting a PR on the second segment as well, so that's good. And the last time, I didn't have any heart rate to, to go by, so this time, the average is 168, max 186. So I've done this climb a bunch of times, as you can see, normally I just go a lot slower. So I would like to do another heart rate test and post in your comments down below if you have any ideas. Uh, I would like to know my maximum heart rate so that I can just establish training zones. It would basically just give me a better understanding of what kind of workload I'm putting my body under or how my body's responding to a workload is a better way to put it. So yeah, if you have any advice for me or any questions, then write that in the comments below. And yeah, I'll catch you guys next video. Let me know if you enjoy these kind of cycling analytic videos. And yeah, peace out guys. Thanks for watching.